Ooh, got him. First cast with the crank. Man, bueno, good fish. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's time to catch some fatty McBatties out here in good old Mexico. We are at the boat launch right now. I don't even know who I'm fishing with this morning, but whoever I'm fishing with is going to have a good time. Got our little watchdog down here. This guy, he watched over our gear last night, make sure the banditos didn't take anything. Good job. Appreciate your kind service. You're so cute, too. Little chihuahua, buddy. I just want to catch a hog. You know, I've been down in Mexico four years, never caught a bass over eight. Caught some high eights, you know, some ones real close to nine, just nothing over eight pounds. Almost every year I come back to Texas and I end up catching like eights, nines. I don't know, I'm due. I'm due for a double D in Mexico. Juan Carlos. Vamonos. Mi pescador amigo. Pescador más fina. Pescador right. amigo. Yeah. Back together. We're, <laughs> everyone left us at the boat ramp? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were like, let's switch, let's switch up. Everyone switches up. And then, you know, the two guys that are filming, we're just standing there with cameras like, hey, you want to go together? <laughs> Again? Sure, might yes. as well. We're going for grandes this morning, right? Oh, yeah. Si. Labinas grandes? Si, hay par de grandes. Si. All new spot. All new spot, All new spot. onyx. Is Ante Pescado ahí? Sí. Sí. Right here in the little island over there. Oh, we got an island. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, okay. Dude, Is that good? I've been waiting for something like this, man. Heck I yeah. got a good feeling. Sick. A little bit more offshore. Got some like little islands poking out of the water here. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. A little overrun. <laughs> Bueno. Fluke. A fluke. Sí. Got him. Got him. Yeah. He's up there on top. Yeah, alto. Got him, baby. Sí. First one. Just how yesterday started out. Caught one on the dart. Right away. It's up there kind of shallow though. We're looking for Mas Grandes. Oh, going for Marguerite out here. I don't know, I didn't even look at him. Not bad. No. No? Yeah, I guess we'll, t we'll take a net. There we go. Two bites on that cast. I don't know if that's the same one. Good one. Got him on the swimmer. See, you, bud. One more jump. Extra points. Extra points. I like it. Spinner? Underspin? Yeah, on that little saucy swimmer on a underspin. Way off the shore, way out, way off the bank. Out there. Weedless? Got, it. Got him? Yep. Close. Just touching the bottom with it, Just reeling it. Uh, how many feet? The depth? Twelve. Yeah. Okay. Twelve feet. Yep. Is that number four for you? Three. Chunky bots. Uh, there might be a Juanita on that stump there. You said about little time in 17. Wow. Got her. Got her? Little Juanita. On the pollo. Or our boar. Dude, you are on him. Doing a little work.
work here. Nice three ski. I've got some cranks. Should I go crank with you or no? It's just getting on the bottom, I think, is the key. Ooh, got him. First cast with the crank. Hey, bueno, good fish. Yeah. See. Si. Yeah, cinco libras. Cinco libras? See, si, see. Si. Cinco? See. Si. That'd be your biggest fish yet. That might be. First cast. Oh, oh yeah. See. Nice, buddy. That crank bait. Hook out. Yeah, it's probably another four. <laughs> Stuck on four. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was like, man, looks really good for a crankbait. First cast, picked it up. Got old Nadine here. 448. Stuck on those quattro. Stuck on those quattros, man. Four and a half. Yeah, four and a half. First toss with the crank. Yeah, first toss with the crank. I'm liking the way that's going. So. Love you so much, Juanita. Put you back. Mama. Mama. Don't worry. She's, <laughs> she's got it. She's got it. Don't worry. Uh, uh, look at her. She's waving by. No, no she just needs a. It's okay. It's okay. See? See? I told you. Bonus point. Just need a little balance. All good. All right. Morning is uh, cracking off on the moving baits, which is exciting. So crank baits, swim baits. Uh, we came to like a shallower pocket, throwing more offshore, and uh, I don't know. I'm feeling, I'm feeling an eight pounder coming on. Did you really switch colors in the tank? Just... No, you just need to touch the bottom. Okay. So ahead of the boat, it's pretty hard to hit bottom. I'm like quartering now towards the bank. Where are you under? And uh, too hard. Too once hard. You... Too hard for the bank. Yeah. Oh, I got another one. Really? Yeah. Once Another you, one? yeah. Once you start hitting the bottom, slow grande? it down. Yeah. No grande. No grande. There we go. Right. Like once you start to feel that, doom, 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 that build, and you can slow it down a little bit, and then. Every once in a while, I'll just give it a pause. Yeah, that's a pretty effective technique. Got him? Yeah. Good one? Nope. He's on that point, though. Is it was sinking there. God, the average fish in here is just chunk see on the punta there's another one right on the point we're just on this little secondary point coming up Just exact same fish, pretty much. <laughs> Amazing. Saucy swimmers. Glad I got a ton of these. I'm doing the things for big ones. They're just, it's just not my time yet. My time has not come. Alrighty. Totally did not get that shot, but that is a, uh, what's number Cinco, I believe right there. Cinco or six. Let it go, crankbait fish. The old Mondo Shad and the Recon. Just giving her a dangle down this bank. I like the way they're spanking that crank. It's pretty fun, they're clapping cheeks on it. First spot, had some pretty good bites. On the swim bait and crank bait, just changing it up today. 
<clears throat> there was a much shallower uh, area where I could like throw offshore, dig that crankbait in the rocks. I like that, but this next spot Mario's taking us to might be completely different. But I'm going to stick with the moving baits for a little bit this morning and see if I can get that big bite. It's a pretty long lasting shaw. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go hours, dude. Yep. Little guy, of course. Right. Nope. Oh, dude. Hook, big oh, dot? Oh, dude. You got a drag ripper? I don't know. He just hit hard. Oh, here it, here it comes. Oh, big one. Ned. Big one. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that was the hardest hitting fish I've had so oh, far. Oh yeah, PB. <laughs> That's gotta be five, right? That's probably six. Yes. 572. 572. Baby. New That's PB. PB. Heck yes, yeah. Yes, sir. I've broke I've had four or five PBs with Rackley. We've only been fishing two days, but that is definitely That was a double up too. Yeah. I got the pequeño one out of the way. You got the toad. <laughs> That's awesome. That. I can't even get him in frame. I got to back up. Get one? Nope. Just clearing these out of the way for you here, Logan. Does that mean I'm up? Don't worry. Two eleven four. What a freaking giant. Freak. I mean, built like that one you just caught. Just. Good one. I don't say. I don't think so, buddy. Nope. Dude, you are really just hammering I'm, these adolescent I'm, fish. I am. I'm harassing these little <laughs> juveniles. Juveniles. You know, I should be. I should be looked at by the FBI yeah. by how many uh, juveniles I'm harassing uh, right now. Underage rat. This is. I need some full-grown adults. There he is. Uh, small? Mm, yes. Dude, what are you doing? You're just crushing these things. Logan, I wish I could tell you. <laughs> Not like I'm trying to. I'm a magnet. Poquito magnet. Get him. We're at that point, right? Yeah, that's, that's where she is. Yeah? Nope. It's a little better. Another four ski. Net. No. It's a good fish. I got it. I got it. This is my this is this is my my four pound zone fish right here. They like me. They like me very much. Oh, come here, little baby. Yeah, four pounds. Oh, maybe. Maybe five? Wanna wet? <laughs> Wanna take bets? I don't know. I'm not good at weights. Four or five? Chunky. You chunky. You gotta get out of that four region. Dude, I don't, you know what? I shouldn't be complaining. I'm not complaining. It's just. It's not another one of those. This one's fat. Dooski. Yep, 480. 488, 86. Dang. I am stuck on these fours, but I'm not mad at it. Check out that bloody tail, y'all. What does that mean? If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know. They're rubbing on those rocks, doing their spawn game. Give me a big old just move. 
Mm. I'm not getting tired of you, okay? I'll take you all day. Nice, buddy. Mucho gusto. Dude, you're, I feel like you're at like 20, at least. I am. I'm just catching the absolute snot out of them, but you know, I'm waiting on that big senorita. She'll come. She's coming. Mm, got one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Little. There's a, there's a little fish doing all the way down there. I'm fishing for him. You know? I'm clearing this one out of the way so you can get that Ocho Libre. 60 feet. It was in the deeps. I was not expecting. You got it? In the butthole. Thank you. I'll show you guys a little trick here. You can get them down in that gullet. Just go through the side plate here on the gills. And you just twist up on your pliers, twist sideways, I should say. And that hook just pops out. Okay. Yep, it's all good. Fish is fine. took a large knife to the leg, stab wound, and it's in my lower quadricep here. So took a um, about a six inch knife to the leg and I passed out, blacked out. Um, it was not good and I'm trying to keep this thing semi clean while I'm down here not get, you know, uh, the waters, the waters of Mexico up in my wound. So we're gonna keep that cleaned up, good to go, and continue. Ready? This is happening right now. Switching, we, I'm switching switch. brothers. You got the better brother, you got the better butler now. The Pat, butler. Better, better butler. Pat. See, <laughs> you can already tell by my camera, I'm the better butler. <laughs> we're going up. We like to party. Lonzo? Yes, he. Get one on. Yes, he's oh. name? No. Bitch tits. <laughs> his oh, his, his name is. Bitch tits. No. He's trying to call you Jesse. That's Logan. <laughs> Jesse? Yeah, Logan. Ah, Logan. Bitch too. Yeah. You? Justin. Justin. Yeah. Justin. Yeah. Who's Dean? Logan. Right. And it's Casey. Casey. He knows my name already. Hey, good luck, fellas. You're going to need it. Yep, good luck. Have fun. A little brother swap I'm little, having here. Brother swap. It's happened. Right. It's time to uh, catch big fish. Um, Logan was beating his personal best by like four and five pounders. We got a lot of work to do here on your personal best. What What's our plan for tonight? So we, we're in on a, a second bet, secondary bet. Okay. Best three bass bag. So we want to go after numbers first, or we want to try to go after size like immediately. We'll try. We'll try to communicate with Mario. Okay. Thinking we're gonna need to get some size going. Yeah. So this is Casey from Hush. Hello. You guys have seen him on my uh, elk hunts um, from <laughs> two seasons ago. And I am not sure if he entered my channel uh, a decade ago or not. Dude, I can't I even remember. I think you entered my channel like a decade That's ago. That's what happened yeah. is, um, if you guys don't know, the, uh, the, the, Hush, the Hush guys and the, basically your whole family has... Yeah. Um, uh, Pioneers uh, of, you, of YouTube. It's pretty pretty crazy. But uh, about a decade ago, when I was guiding on Fork, I was um, I was messaging this guy named Ed Bassmaster, who made these funny videos. He still does it. Um, just crazy funny guy. Makes a lot of prank videos. Uh, just happens to like fishing, and came out to Lake Fork and uh, brought Casey yeah. with him. And Casey had already started vlogging, and I had just started vlogging. And anyway, Casey and Ed, they gave me some tips. And uh, and I had no idea that it would go on. Years later, I would see Hush, you know, Hushin', and there's this bearded warrior out there and this guy that I met on Lake Fork um, vlogging. So it's pretty crazy how it's a small world. I think it's pretty awesome, man. Um, you know, 
we're working in the outdoor industry. We both have outdoor brands. Yeah. And uh, we've, you know, sold a couple of things along the way. Thank you. Yeah, you know? sold a couple. What? what do you guys sell? Rods or we, rods? Yeah, or this or dangle materials. Funny, uh, I was going to ask you about this. We were out here in the middle of Mexico. Um, it was yesterday. And uh, there was a, another angler from a different lodge. Had a Guggen shirt on. Did he really? He did. I didn't know that. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. Well, All the way down here in Mexico. Guggen, international now. Worldwide. Internationally known worldwide. So we got a little competition going, side pot. Uh, Casey is the holder of the big bass right now. He's taking everybody's money. Real, real lucky. Um, you caught two fish yesterday. Two fish. Happened to be a five and an eight pounder. So he's on that stud program. I've been on the numbers program. So hopefully we can combine, combine those. our powers and uh, and present a big sack to the guys tonight and say, here's what we got going on. Pay up. So, all right, I'm going to grab a rod. We're going to get to work. Welcome to Toadville, Mexico International. Here we go, partner. Here we go, park. Three thirteen. Three thirteen. We'll take him. Well, three pounds, thirteen ounces. Okay. So it's almost four pounds. Release that fat toad. Yeah, big dog. Mm. It's on little. Oh, where? Oh, dude. Well, we got we got to get a third one. It's yeah, it's smaller than what we had. Pequeño, we have to weigh though. This lake is full of two and a halfs. Mm, yeah, Mario's correct. Two pounds, two ounces. Two pounds, two ounces. We got a bag though. We have two, two, two twos two, and a three. Yeah. Seven Might be a small Labina. Hit him. Yeah. Casey has got just raw me, dude. Texas rig down, going methodical. He snatched you. Snatched me. Bandito de plástico. I'm gonna pick it up a little bit, but I've thrown it so much this morning. Um, he's fishing really slow, and I think something is happening here. We've got this full moon that is popping out. I think it is having an effect on these fish. I think they're starting to lock down on the beds, and that's why they're going really slow is uh, is better. So I think they were feeding more this morning. Now they're starting to kind of lock down in this area. If we went out to like deeper water where there were more pre-spawn, it could be a completely different story, but that's what we got going on right now, I believe. Our three bag, our three fish sack is not looking too steamy right now, but hopefully it'll be a big, Fat, hefty, steamy one here in a minute. Yeah, oh, great. Nope. Like little brushes. Uh huh. Little brush. They're also down here, like 20 feet, 15 oh, to 20. Really? Yeah. It's so that's very fishy. That's what they're sitting in. Okay. Nope, oh, I got one. You ready? Oh, I'm jammer. No. Little guy. It's an upgrade. Nope. This is what I'm good at today. Clearing these out of the way for the Beer Brothers. <laughs> yeah, and this will be where Logan would catch like a four. So, you know what? I'm gonna go Cali Craw, man. That color's been good all day. That are black and blue. Oh, good. Oh, it felt felt like it had some resistance. Yeah, 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 yeah big and big, 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 Mario. Net. It's gonna be a toad. Nope. It's gonna be a big one, dude. It's gonna be a big one. He's staying down. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. There we go. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, doggy. Decent. Six pounds, two ounces. Six two. Six two. Six two. Two. 
Yes. Yes. Grab that beautiful face. Look at the fatness, dude. Dude. Absolutely. That thing's way fatter than the big one I caught yesterday. Okay, that one's got it. Oh, bigger one? Uh, no. Well, it gets rid of our gets rid of our two two. Yeah. Dude. But it's not. It's not that four we're looking for. Is it get rid of our two though? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mmm, touch three, didn't it? Saw it. Saw it. <laughs> 2.15. Yeah. I mean, I'd call it three. All day. We called it? Mmm, thank you. Labinas. De noche. We're basically night fishing at this point, y'all, so I can't promise the best of the footages, but we've got a six, a four, and a three. So we're trying to upgrade, trying to get one more five pounder to seal this deal. Oh, ho, ho. Is that Mr. Wall? Uh, folks, I'm not sure if you can see. Oh, the trolling motor. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the top one. But, yeah. The, the this one? Push down. Yeah. Okay. Learning? Yeah. yeah. Now you're a full first mate. Fletch, first mate. <clears throat> Visibility not going to be good on this one, folks, but we're doing a little extended session here. I've never night fished in Mexico. This is going to be a first for me. You typically find it's better at night? Man, you know, this time of year with that moon, things just get weird. Yeah. <clears throat> and this water's clear enough where you can catch them at night. Just think these bigger ones, they're, they're like moving up and they're comfortable at night or at low light and then during the middle of the day, they're just, they're deep, deep, deep. Because we should be catching eights more frequently. Oh my gosh. I took my worm, dude. I thought I was stuck. Really? Digging? Dude, it just hung there, solid. Oof, heat. Oh, big hit. Yeah, doggy. Oh. Big one? Nope. Oh, maybe. This might be, might be I can't one. see. This might be bigger than I think. Yep. I think so, Mario. Huh? See? be eight pounds and I wouldn't know it. Oh, it's a big one, dude. Oh. This is like bigger than six. <sighs> the visual's not gonna be great. I need to look into a big one. Big, big one. There we go, buddy. Yeah. yeah. That helps the cause. That helps the cause. There we go. Oh, baby. See? Maybe six. Really? Skinny. Um, yep. Whoa. Six, six, six one. one. Six one and a six two. <laughs> there we go. Be the winner. All right. <clears throat> See you, big girl. Me. Listen to the splashes, everyone. That's a big splash. Yeah. Put on another trenchy. I did. Mario, me uh, te gusta the smell? Te gusta? Yeah. See. Smell good. Smell good. I'm with you. Yes. Well, guys, best three fish, 16 pounds and seven ounces. Came back with a little cashola winnings. So me and Casey won tonight's tournament. Never caught a bass in Mexico at night. So fun, guys, that full moon. And I think what's really happening, and it ha if it hadn't been for Casey, we wouldn't have figured this out, but it all makes sense now. This morning, catching them with Logan, um, I think they were coming up and, and feeding, 
And then once that moon came up this afternoon over the mountains, it's like they locked on the beds, typical spawning, uh, springtime behavior back home, but they spawned down here in January and they just got on beds and you had to just go very, very slow with the bait. So that tends to happen. They'll, they'll feed in the morning time, get more locked on in the afternoon. And they were in these like little brush tops on this little shelf in like 15 feet of water. And I had a lot of fish actually just grab the bait and I thought they had it. I'd go to set the hook and my plastic would be gone. And that's because they were just being defensive, grabbing the end, moving it off and uh, I would come up with nothing. So it all makes sense now. They are fully getting on beds, just looking for that muy grande, that big one. And I think I'm due. Tomorrow I'm fishing with my buddy Juan, and he is due for a big bass. So I cannot wait to fish with him. I think, I think it's gonna be a good, good day. Full moon, big bass action. So thank you guys for tuning in today. And uh, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Godspeed in the great outdoors. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow on the next one. Big Basses. Okay.